She gonna be a spicy gelato too. Everybody bring your glass of milk. <laughs> Welcome to Garage Garage! Day like I don't know how many, but kicking ass and taking names is all I gotta say. Today, number one, we're gonna work on accessory fitment. Accessory meaning like water pump, the balancer pulleys. We basically gotta put all of that in here so that when we mount number two, the radiator supports, nothing's in the way. Number three would be remount that motor forward. We talked about it, about moving the motor back. Well, that wasn't the case. By the time we got all the mounts in, we're so close to the firewall. In order to get the valve covers off, they actually hit the firewall. In order to fix this, we're gonna take these mounts, these plates right here, and the good guys over there at Headman are going to remake them so that they're one inch further forward. Putting the motor an inch further forward and giving us space where the valve covers are. That's gonna be number three. Number four is clean up the wiring on the firewall. As you know, John said that he put this in in six hours, got the whole car wired for power tours in six hours, and it looks great. I mean, we can rock it. But we wanna do something a little more special. We wanna take all this wiring off the firewall and whatever needs to go from this side to that side of the car, we're gonna go inside and do it on the dash. And anything that goes from this part of the car to the firewall, we're gonna run in the frame rail and then come up underneath. All you're gonna see is exposed mechanics and no electronics. So what time is it? It's time to get her done. You gonna teach some people some stuff? I don't know how many tricks we're gonna learn besides uh, trying to get it right the first time, which in custom application is rare. You're like 80% of the time doing it over and over and over, maybe 20% of the time doing it once and getting it right. So what are you doing first? Tying in the frame rails. So the radiator support is gonna basically go centered on these bolts. If we go over to the clip, we can walk over here and look at it. We know before the radiator was mounted on this side of those two centering bolts. These two bolts here are the two bolts that we have in the frame rail. So we're gonna put the back of the radiator face with these bolts. So we're actually gonna move the radiator forward. And then we have another cooler that we need to get mounted up here that just so happens to be yay big by yay big. So radiator support first and then somehow figure out how to float the cooler up into the grill area right there. That's gonna be like the major portion of today. So that's kind of why we need to mock up all the accessories so that we have all the Legos in order and we get our Lego project together. Let's grab the radiator. If you can see, here's those bolt holes. And I said this face wants to be like right there. We're gonna go back here as well as we're gonna raise it up so like we can get our hand on that. In fact, we could go underneath here and you know grab it and get the bottom radiator hose off, which is super important. I'm not saying we want to be able to work on the car, but if we work on it, it'll be easier. We're not working on it making it harder. Basically, probably bar from here to here, um, short kickers up off that bar, and then probably some 45s to keep it from swaying. But I want to make it look about like it's floating. I don't want it to have a lot of material up here. I want it to float. Bottom support is what we're going to use. We're going to use inch and a half DOM. It was stuff that we have left over from our golf cart cage. Probably stuff we're going to be using for the cage in this car. What we did is measure from right over those holes, frame rail to frame rail, and I cut it like 31 and a quarter. So I cut it long and I cut it long on a reason. These frame rails don't go straight at each end. You're not gonna be able to slide a straight bar into 45 frame rails. So leaving a little meat on the bones is good in this case. Hopefully, hopefully this is straight. And you can go back and kind of make a mark at around, let's say 14, and then do the same mark over here. Why did you pick 14 for this? 14 I'm eyeballing, that's about center right here on this. And again, I'm eyeballing it because we're making it matter. We're not, it's not what we read in the instructions or what we got in the instructions, it's what we're doing. So we're gonna take our bar, kind of center it up on those marks. Find center on your bar. You know, make a center mark there. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to repeat this angle right here. See how this angle goes like that? So we're gonna just go across and repeat that angle. Now we're gonna take it over to the chop saw and cut it on that angle. 
The idea is that when we put it back in here and we slide it in, it's gonna sit flush with the frame rails in there. That way, we'll clean this up, take all that paint off, clean this up, weld this in, and get a good bottom support for the radiator. Get this cut. Slide that in. And as you can see, it's sitting over our holes. Our holes are right here. If you look down. So, yeah, so oh, that looks, looks like good. The bottom of the frame rail looks perfect. Okay, so we got the bottom radiator support kind of, it's not in there right now, but it's where, it's what we like in the frame horns. So I'm looking at uprights. So like basically the pieces that go from this pole here up to the mounting part on the radiator. We're gonna want uprights that are at minimum 16. Yep. I'd say like we'll do 18 inch uprights and if they're too long or ugly, we can always cut them down. We can't add to them. And if we do 18, we have to fish mouth the bottom to go onto the bar. That'll take out about a half of an inch. All right, so how are you gonna cut this? This was straight up. Gonna measure an 18, cut it, measure another 18, cut it. Hopefully get it to cut all the way around because our blade's so little, but... Uh, our blades are too small to cut our pipe. So basically the circumference of the blade when it comes down to the chop saw is not getting through the bottom of the, the pipe. We uh, called the PA and the PA called Home Depot. a good reference point of where we know we can put the fan though on the radiator. Now watch how this rips through this so easily compared to before. We got these tacked in, the, bait, the radiator support bottom, and then we got our radiator sides just tacked, and now we're trying to get them this way and this way level with a crooked frame. <laughs> so we're gonna get it as close as possible. So that guy's <laughs> straight as an arrow. Stay. What are those? These are gonna be the pieces that we weld to on here so that we can slide the radiator down and bolt to it. Which actually I think they go here like this, I'm sorry. Like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mark the holes for the radiator on here. We're gonna drill the holes. We're gonna bolt these to the radiator, then tap weld it onto here. Oh, perfect. Yeah. So it's easily removable. Easily removable. And because I know I gotta make the same holes in both plates, I just went ahead and tacked them together with the welder. And now I only have to make my marks on one set and drill right through both of them. And then I'll just grind them loose and I'll have two exactly the same drilled hold plates. And now we have two. Thoughts? Uh, it's weird because this side right here has got a little bit of a gap, so I think I'm probably just gonna take this tube out and move it over a little bit. But this side's fine. Distance here, as you can tell, with the radiator and all that stuff, we've got plenty of room. We'll slide that fan down there, just so you can see. See how we still have like almost two inches in between there and there? Yeah. So fan's good, that's good. Basically, we got another fan that we're gonna probably put on the front, like this. And then we have an engine cooler that goes basically right here. My next score will be to get the engine cooler 
to sit somewhere in that vicinity right there. And actually, I think it sits like this. But that's gonna be the next thing is sitting that bitch right there. So how's it look? I'm pretty cool with it. Um, we've got our bars holding it in. It's rigid as hell. I mean, you can't move it. So we're gonna add one more of these over here to this side. And that's gonna be probably where we're gonna finish this up today. We're not gonna finish welding any of this stuff up because we gotta get our motor positioned a little one inch further forward and we wanna make sure we have that clearance. But we have obviously enough room for the fan. Oh yeah, easy. So we're so stoked there. So stoked here. I mean, even if worst case scenario, we didn't run this guy here, you know what I'm saying? We could, this is probably more than enough fan for this motor. So I think the next goal now is like we were talking about before, I'm not super excited about swinging this fan off of the radiator. What by putting these on here we accomplished is a great place to put a bar from here to here and from here to here. And that'll give us the areas to put tabs on for these guys. How are you liking this, Brandon? Is this feeling comfortable? Feeling comfortable? It looks it looks a lot better than I thought it was gonna look. Oh, <laughs> oh, sketch daddy! Yeah. <laughs> so I could almost possibly put a turbo kit on the S2000? Uh, as long as it's not an eBay kit. Shots, shots <laughs> fired. No, Alert. but yeah. Shirt, shirt, shirt's fired. I really like the fact that you're just doing like these tack welds to get it mocked up and then you're not just fully just seeming full everything into place. Seam. Yeah. No, because dude, I took it, I probably put things apart in like this and then tore it all back apart and redo it. And who knows, I might go home tonight, fall asleep, and then come back tomorrow with like some other butt crazy white. Because, dude, it happens to everybody. You put something together, two or three days, you sleep on it, you're like, ooh. Probably could have done that a different way. We got our new plates, cool little plates. Basically sets the motor mounts one inch further forward. All right, we'll go over how they did this too. So this is the old plate that mounts on the motor. This is gonna be our new plate that mounts on the motor. And as you can see, these four holes here mount to the block. And these three holes mount to the body. Our holes are lined up and we're moving it over Looks like inch and a quarter is what our move over is. So this plate's now gonna be mounted on here, positioning the motor forward. It's gonna move the, the whole engine inch and a quarter yeah, forward. Inch and a quarter forward. That's pretty cool. Thanks, Headman. That looks good. Dude, it looks perfect right now. Holy dude. shit. No way. It works. But I'm Woo! plenty of yeah, room that's, now that's for oh activities. My God. Who's this guy? Hey, what's up? Hey, uh, where have you been? Well, today on Garage Garage, Dan in no way helps John or Brad. <laughs> is it in there? First time being it is. Don't worry about oh, it. Oh, hey now. We're excited about the new show. I'm excited about the new show. A knuckle buster. It's a really nice build for once. I actually get to drive something. Yeah, it's gonna be amazing. All right, guys, how are we looking? We're looking good. I need to get a strap underneath here to hold this mount motor up because right now the only thing that's holding this motor up is that uh, jack stand. Yeah, and honestly, if you, it rolls away, it's gonna fall so far down here, it'll probably get wedged in. Not gonna lie, super stoked. Every time now, I know I, I only come in here once in a while because I've got my things to do, but Brad's been just kicking ass on it. And every time I come in here, it's like getting closer and closer. And I just can't wait to be like, ah, da, da, da. just driving. It's gonna be sick. I'm so excited. So we almost got our list done, Brad. Yeah, we are, we are this wiring away from finishing our list, which is gonna give us a great opportunity to slow the project up. We're gonna have to take a break. I've got another project that uh, I think you guys are all gonna be super excited about. And I'm sorry, John, I gotta put you on the back burner for a minute. Man, it's not that you're not super important to us and I don't wanna finish this, but gotta get a little crazy and have a little fun and build something dumb. 
We're just gonna put this build on the back burner while we cook a new enchilada. Very nice. Very and nice. it's gonna be a spicy enchilada too. So everybody bring your glass of milk. So this doesn't mean, Mike, this is over. The duel will still happen. When and where to be determined still, but we will be racing. I cannot wait. What is this lurker doing? Yeah, we're filming. What are you doing? So he's being a weirdo. Yeah,